How's that? Is that good? I I don't really know how to even start this video because I knew it was a video that was coming eventually. And this isn't, okay, I'm gonna start it right now. Right now, I got the remote in my hand. I would've put that down. I could've used that as a pointer, but I'm not going. Uh, right now, before people start typing in the comments or freaking out, no, I'm not quitting vlogging. Vlogging is still happening. I'm not quit. I am not quitting vlogging, okay? Not quitting vlogging. <laughs> I know, I feel like I have to say that 45 times, but. So why am I talking? Why am I making this video? I uh, have come to the uh, decision. I've talked to Allie and I've been, actually this is something that I've been really wanting to, kind of, I've been wanting to do this because I wanted to do it at a certain time, but I'm going to break the daily consecutive, uh, basically I'm gonna break this guy right here, this one. I'm gonna break this thing right here, uh, the Goodness World Record for the most consecutive daily vlogs. That's all I'm doing. So that just means that in the event of, you know, something happening, uh, I'm able to, you know, not stress anymore and just kind of relax. And the reason why this is really kind of, really kind of pushed my decision is once we found out Allie was pregnant, the first thing I thought was the day she's, I didn't know she was she, but the day they, at the time, were gonna be born, there was no way in hell that I was going to sit in front of a computer and edit a vlog to upload just to maintain this thing. I honestly, <laughs> this is actually true. I talked to Shay, I talked to Roman, I talked to a bunch of other friends. I was going to stop the daily vlogs, or the, not the daily vlogs, but the consecutive aspect of the vlogs during, just after announcing, because that's what I wanted to do. Then Allie kind of explained to me, like she kind of talked me out of that situation. It wasn't like, ah, oh, I'm done. It was more because it was such an important thing in my life and I figured that would be a good time, you know, to choose to, to kind of stop. But then Allie kind of reminded me, she's like, hey, you know, you're coming up in 10 years in like a matter of, what is it, like four or five months? Why don't you just continue and then at 10 years, you're able to stop the consecutive and retire the record. And it made so much more sense. So I'm here today to, um, I don't really even, whatever, to announce that I'm going to be stopping the consecutive daily vlogs. That means I'm going to still be vlogging. I want to say daily vlogging because it's still going to be daily vlogging, but what I want to do is a minimum of five videos uh, a week, a minimum. So that means sometimes it might be six, sometimes it might be a full seven. So it might be, you know, without missing a week or something. If something happens, it gives me that opportunity or, you know, like during the weekends to be able to kind of just hang out with Allie and soon to be baby girl and uh, not have to like stress and do things like that. So that's that's all it means. When I came to this decision, it was, it was an easy slash. It was a hard decision, but it was also an easy decision. I started thinking about, you know, everything that has happened in the past 10 years. And I, I've seen a lot of, you know, like, you know, unofficial, uh, a lot of home uh, made uh, CTFXC kind of um, memory videos and tribute videos and it's it's really kind of, it's, it's actually kind of hit me harder, especially when helping with editing. Uh, by the way, today also I gave you guys a little special bonus. We did the 10 year summary video. So that means this past year, it's kind of like, you know, our favorite moments of the past CTFXC of this past 10 years. And the next couple videos um, or days, I have the best of CTFXC. So it kind of takes some moments from the past 10 years and makes it into a video. And then we have, thanks to a lot of you guys, a video that takes one second of every single day of my life for the past decade. It makes it into one giant video that I think is well over an hour. I've watched it. It actually made me cry. <laughs> I'm mad enough to admit it. I really don't know, honestly, how to like how to talk about things like this because this has been such a huge, huge part of my life, a third of my life. I've had so many amazing opportunities. I've met so many amazing people, and uh, seen so many amazing things, and it's been the greatest, greatest thing I think I've accidentally ever done. I didn't mean to do this. 
this is, I mean, like I meant to vlog, but I didn't mean for it to, or even think it was a doable thing for it to, you know, to be what it is. I mean, when we first started doing this, you know, it was like Shay and myself and maybe a couple other people that were doing uh, vlogging. I don't think there's very many daily vloggers, to be completely honest. So it was definitely a new territory. This is uh, actually taking me a couple times to film because every time I started talking, I started like tearing up and looking like an idiot. So I've uh, taken some extra time to kind of gather my thoughts, but you know what? Screw it. It's the last of the consecutive. I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to make this 45 minutes. I'm allowed to ramble because I'm probably going to do it. Let's just, let's say where to begin. So these started May 1st of 2009, which is why this video is on May 1st. Actually, it's uploaded. I'm filming this May 1st, 2009. So that marks 10 years. I remember... <sighs> I do. I remember the first video that I ever did on this video. I remember very vividly the first few videos. Uh, the first one I remember being in the back of uh, that white car. Do you guys remember that white car? Um, the, we call it the couch. The big giant white car couch. I was using a, I don't have one right here, I took it in the storage, but I was using a flip, uh, flip phone. Not flip phone. What are they? Flip minnows? What are they called? You know what I'm talking about? The, I can't remember, it's been so long. Those little tiny cameras, horrible quality. I mean, if you want to watch back the first video, it's, the quality's off. It's awful, it's so bad. I don't remember who was driving though. I think it was Alex Speed. I think she was driving. I remember saying, you know, this is going to be the first day of this little experiment of daily vlogging for the past, for the next year. And then I remember, I think it was the second day, you know, like trying to figure out, I was like, okay, so what did I just get myself started? You know, what did I get myself into? You know, like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Because, I mean, it hasn't been done for, I didn't know what I was doing. I knew that back then, I just knew they scripted like skits and stuff like that. I didn't know how to make my life interesting enough for people to actually sit down and watch, let alone me finding interesting, because that's one thing I've always kept as a mission statement that I would only create something that I myself would watch. This is why I think the CTFXC was such an amazing thing for me and it's made me see so many amazing things and pushed me to do so many amazing things because it pushed me outside. For the past 10 years, I don't think I've ever really, unless I was sick, which by the way, I'm sick now, so yay. I never really kind of just sat and you know, just vlog from the couch. I may have done it a couple times because I always felt like I wanted to entertain. I wanted to, I wanted to uh, push myself to go out and do something, to find something, even on a boring day. I wanted to find something to do. I wanted to entertain people. I wanted to make people laugh, all while just being myself. I've filmed some of the um, most amazing things in my life, but I've also filmed some of the most heartbreaking things in my life and scary things in my life you know I've I'm just gonna go through it like I don't I don't care you know like it's it's part of my life and you know I started this 10 years ago with Ally Speed and she was she helped me a lot with this stuff and she she did help uh, a lot with this stuff and I um, you know some things just don't work and uh, there was a lot of I really you know, this is another part of the mission statement is that I always refuse to show negativity. I know a couple other vloggers that were the same way. And then as a result, people really just thought everything was happy-go-lucky all the time. Only when you kind of saw 10 minutes, 15 minutes of somebody's life or day, I should say. There's a lot, like think about 24 hours in a day, 10 minutes, cut down. So there was like a lot of things that were never shared online because that was choice. I just always felt like the vlogs were something that should always be positive, you know, spreading positivity. I never wanted to, you know, send out negativity to the world. You know what I mean? Like I just wanted to spread laughter and fun. So when I really kind of started to think about like the, uh, the start of the vlogs and all the things that have gone like on this, like if I could have like this like little timeline, it would probably be the craziest time. Most people probably wouldn't even believe it's actually like a thing, let alone my life, which is the craziest thing. So I filmed everything from the ups and downs towards the end, which is crazy, or right now, I should say, not the end, but the little, the chapter we're at now is probably the craziest, most amazing miracle, I think, chapter uh, of 
ever of my entire life. I'm about to get ready for the biggest job, most biggest responsibility of my entire life. And Allie and I are, <laughs> we're terrified, but we're also very excited. So it's, it's, oh my God, when I really honestly, when I think about all the things leading, it feels like everything was leading up to this moment, if that makes any sense. I mean, you take all the crappy stuff, you know what I mean? But you build on that from those things that kind of felt like they broke me down a little bit, just built me up to uh, prepare myself for what's coming on, you know? Being married to my dream girl, having, you know, a baby girl coming, who's gonna be the greatest perfect thing in the world, like she's gonna be my little princess, and I, I mean, this, this next step is probably the coolest thing ever. I was watching some of these things, like in these montage videos that I completely forgot, like, and I watched it and I remembered it vividly. That's why the one second video is so amazing. It all rushes back and, you remember those amazing things. So I remember one of the first couple videos, like Zoe and Marley finding this little box turtle and sniffing it. I actually was using an iPhone, what phone? An iPhone, back in the day, an old iPhone. And I had to, maybe iPhone 3G or something like that. And I had to jailbreak it, because if you jailbreaked it, you could use the camera function as a video. The quality was horrible, but you could use it as video, like a camera. And I remember, that day, I didn't have a vlogging camera. I only had my phone. So that's why that quality is terrible. But I remember it and looking at that footage, it was, I am, it's just, it's so cute to me. The brain surgery, that was a tough thing. That was a very tough thing as well. A lot of people always ask me like why I've always filmed that or why I did film that. This is okay, this comes right around. This, I already warned you guys, this is gonna be a lot of probably dishevelment, randomness. Sorry, that's just, you're just gonna, you've been with me for like 10 years. You guys know this how I work. You have to, you hear what I say and you have to decipher it. I make you think is what I'm trying to say. But people ask and asked why I chose to film a, another dark time in my life. Obviously being divorced online in a public eye, getting married in a public eye is a very insane thing to do. Having to go through brain tumors and you know seizures and brain surgeries is also <laughs> it's, I laugh because it's terrifying still um, a very scary time in my life too the reason why I chose to film all those things is because I've met so many amazing people so many amazing people that are watching this video that unfortunately have gone through this are going through this I have family members, friends that may be going through things like this, and I'll be honest, that really pushed me. It also kept me a little bit sane because those times in my life, I was in denial of the situation. I always joked, I was with Danny. When I found out I originally had a tumor, when I was, had the seizure in Boise, which sucked, missed the show. <laughs> I remember the doctor saying it, deadpan and I was like it's not a tumor I you know joke and Danny looked at me like what do I say do I laugh you know what I mean like I remember that moment um very vividly weird that little things stick in your head right you know what I mean like that come back to you when you start talking the reason why I say this I went off on a little tangent is because I was a little bit in denial of the fact of what was happening what was really in store like I've gone to the doctors and they've said, you know, you have a cold, you have this, you know, blah, blah, blah. But to sit there and have somebody say, you have a brain tumor or tumor in your brain. I didn't know how to grasp it. I really honestly did. So my only crutch was to distract myself and uh, talk to a camera and have the feedback from you guys. You know what? I don't want to talk about the negative anymore. Let's talk about the positive stuff. So that happened and as a result, we got so many more, um, you know, it's a bittersweet thing. I really honestly wish I, that would never freaking happen in my life. I don't wish it upon anyone, even my worst enemy. But the happy thing is it did help people. And that was, that was, uh, that was my goal. I wanted to be able to help somebody and I also wanted to be able to help myself. It's kind of crazy to think about too how these vlogs, this thing talking to a camera has really and forever will change who I am. I mean, it was 10 years, 10 years that right now I have been filming 
my life. So my little baby girl is going to go be able to pick a day, past 10 years, you know, be able to see what I did. Probably not a good thing on um, every single thing, but <laughs> a lot of the things I, I think I'm very proud of. I mean, it's with everything, you're proud of some moments, you're not proud of some moments. One of my favorite memories that I have that I, I think I will always remember is the giant snowball fight. I think that was one of the coolest things ever. We literally just tweeted out that we were going to go to Central Park and that everyone should come. And then we were at the, uh, I don't know what monument that was. It's in, you know what it is? It's, have you seen the movie Santa Claus? It's where everyone's watching Tim Allen. Spoiler alert, Tim Allen's Santa Claus. That pillar, um, that statue. But we all met there. And it was just chaos. Back then, that really never happened. Like, meetups like that, unofficial meetups, never really kind of happened in YouTube. I was a little nervous about trying to do that kind of thing. And then everyone showed up and <laughs> nervous was, that's just a, a simple, very calm way of saying how I felt. I was terrified. I've always been a person that's been terrified of public speaking and being a public figure, being in public and doing things like that. So to be the center, essentially a center of attention like that amongst hundreds of people was terrifying. But what came out of that was a really cool thing. I don't know how it happened. I think maybe one of you guys may have suggested it. We were like, oh, let's all go to the Central Park and have a snowball fight. And I was like, yes, we're gonna do what that person just said. I like the thing I came up with it, but I don't think I did. We just had a giant snowball fight in Central Park. Now thinking about it, that would never fly. First off, City of New York would shut that down in a second. Second off, I, I, I don't think it would have been, it was innocent, you know what I mean? Like I feel like now YouTube has gotten, doesn't, didn't know what it was doing. It was, let's just think of it as like a toddler or an infant. It didn't know what was what, you know what I mean? It didn't know who it was. It didn't know what it was going to be. So it was very an innocent thing. And now I feel like it wouldn't happen that way. So I think that is one of my, coolest moments I've remembered. There's so much and guess what? That's why it's been filmed because I have a horrible memory and uh, I, I always joke, I feel like I can't tell if the vlogs have helped my memory or made it worse. But one thing is for sure, it does allow me to look back on my life. I really, honestly guys, I don't know what else. I, 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 I'm, I've told myself I'm not gonna tear up, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna do any of that stuff because it's, this is a happy moment. This isn't a sad moment. This isn't the end of everything. You know what I mean? This, so that's why I was like, all right. That's why I filmed this multiple times is because I was getting really emotional. And don't get me wrong. This is a very emotional time. This is a very hard thing for me to do because you guys know this thing uh, right here, this meant a lot to me because this is something that I've always wanted my entire life. And I got it, and we got into the Ripley's. That thing's too heavy, I can't pick that up. I'm happy that it's retiring on an even 10 years. I feel like that's a that's a nice goal for, I hope somebody eventually will beat that. I truly do, just because I, a part of me, for somebody's mental health, I don't hope somebody does it, but I, I hope somebody can actually do this. I hope somebody is that dedicated to YouTube and viewers like yourself that they can get something like that and break that. I will happily step aside if somebody can do that. You know what I mean? I just realized I probably talked in circles about 45 times. It's hard to really honestly gather thoughts. I didn't want to write things down. Actually, you know what? Where's my phone? I did write a couple things down, so I would just bear with me. Oh, the two notes that I wrote in here, I've already talked about, so. I'm doing good. Where do we go from here, guys? Um, well, actually, this is, this is a perfect little segue. Um, all right, so, you know, we had the record, world record for most consecutive daily vlogs uh, posted on YouTube. Here's the deal. I told Guinness that I was going to be retiring this record and then they asked me a question and I was like, wow, this is actually kind of true. How about any other daily vloggers? Have they, has anyone ever close to the amount of episodes that you've done, episodes, days, that you've uploaded? And since we've been doing this for so long, we're, um, I think, one of the first few, um, well, obviously I'm not the first daily vlogger. They researched and guess what guys? We got a new world record. This is the longest running video vlog series on YouTube with the number of episodes, by episodes. That's crazy, right? We retired this one and Guinness was like, oh, hold on, you're not done yet. We're gonna make a new one for you. This has been one of the craziest things I've ever done 
to vlog my life every single day. It's insane. It's it's one of the craziest, if the craziest thing. Actually, no, brain surgery is probably crazier. And I know I've said it a million times. This is just another chapter, but here's the deal. This is just another chapter in the giant novel of the CTFXC. And we're not even close to halfway. I'm really, really excited to see where it goes, what happens next, and I can't, I cannot wait to show you guys the next stages of our life. Actually, if you're already here, if you're still watching this, you are one hardcore MF. Um, and I want you guys in the comments to say the word, we're gonna say it because we've always said it. The secret word today is pumpernickel. So I want you guys to write that in the comments. If people have been watching this for a very long time, know exactly what I'm talking about. So now for the fun part. Okay, so here's the deal. Those things that I told you about earlier, we have like three or four montage things that are coming up, uh, summary videos. Today, right now, after you watch this long video that hopefully people watch, probably not, I probably, you probably just hit L, 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 skip, skip, skip. That's why the secret word's there. There is a year 10 montage. You know we always have the, the montages every single year? And I'm gonna put that down in the description as well as a playlist that has all of them. So one year, through 10, okay? So there's that. I have gonna be scheduling. Before I go, I just truly, from the bottom of my heart, I wanna say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for giving me the greatest gift that anyone could possibly give. This, this whole thing, this wasn't me. This was you guys. You made this. I was just the kind of, I was the face. You guys were the producers, you were the directors. Um, you guys pushed me so hard um, to inspire me to make this and I can't honestly thank you enough because I have no idea where I'd be without you guys. I truly have no idea and that really means a lot to me. <laughs> it really does and I am so incredibly excited to uh, take you on the next adventure of the CTFXC. It's, it's, it's exciting. Oh my god, it's so exciting. I, I have, there's so many things that are going to be happening and I am so excited and I just want to say thank you so much. I will not see you tomorrow, so I have officially have to break the record. So tomorrow, I will not see you. However, I will be right back in 48 hours. So then we can start filming again. And going overseas, we're going to Cuba. I get to bring you guys along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> say bye to this little guy. And we're gonna say hello to this guy. Oh, and doodles. All right, well, here's the fun part, guys. You see above my head right now, that is a clickable box that takes you to the year 10 montage video. If it's not there, that means YouTube hates me again, and the link's down there in the description. So well, please go check it out, leave it some love, and uh, let's celebrate the year 10 video. It's, it's awesome, and uh, go check it. Remember, it's not there, it's down there.